Hello world, Malak64 here, and welcome back to episode 32 of Pokemon Prism. This episode I have bought a bunch of items, all my Pokemon are over level 50, and we are gonna give our first shot at the Leon Lee. And you can see I have swapped out Frostlass for Articuna, who is at level 50 but has a great move set, so uh, I'm not concerned. Okay, we have to go around all the way. First trainer is obviously an ice type gym, not gym leader, elite four member, so. Yes, we should be good with Feraligator in front. Okay, let's do this. First one. Welcome, trainer. What you've experienced on your journey is unique. Anyone could conquer the gyms and traverse Seneca Caverns, but no one could have done it as you have. You're as unique as a crystallized snowflake fluttering and tumbling through the cold mountain air on a winter's morning. I'm Yuki, the master ice trainer of Nalyo, and your first opponent in the Rion League. Put your best foot forward. And here we go. Okay. Yuki. Which is courage in Japanese, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well this is not advantage- this is not an advantage, because this thing could earthquake us out of this arena. Uh, let's hit it with a flamethrower. We're on level with it. We got lots of revives and lots of full restores, lots of max heals. Okay, great, we one-shot it. Good. So if we lose anyone along the way, we should just be able to bring them back immediately. Glalie, we will not switch out. I plan on flamethrowing everything she has. Unless she brings out something that's weaker to fighting, so... She might have a... Weavile, I'm not entirely sure. I seem to remember her having one. Yeah, there we go. Weavile. We will switch into Luxray, who has double kick. Pretty sure Luxray has double kick. Hopefully I didn't get rid of that. Yep, we got double kick. Agility, already faster, so that won't do anything for you. We use double kick, and it's over half, so that's guaranteed one shot. Excellent. Critical hit, as though it mattered. Luxray gets up level 54, which is excellent. I'm trying to learn crunch. Oh, that's useful. How does that compare to Night Slash there? Um. Pretty sure Night Slash has a flinch chance and Crunch has a... Okay, let me just check this. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I am going to stop learning Crunch, because we have a higher critical hit chance with uh, Night Slash, so I'm going to keep that. Frost Lass, we will switch back into Typhlosion and use another Flamethrower to take it out. This thing will not outspeed us. I have zero... Okay, apparently it will, never mind. I was sure I'd be faster, but I mean this thing has two levels on us. Okay, now we just need to not get hit in confusion. Thank you! Excellent RNG thus far. We get a high roll and one shot. Yes, indeed we can. Brilliant. Okay. Almost level 54. Last Pokemon is a Glaceon. We will not switch out. I don't know if this thing is pure ice or ice normal, but either way, we're confused. I forgot. We use Flamethrower anyway. Doesn't matter. It hits. Is it a one-shot? It nearly is a one-shot. Shadow Ball. Only hit of damage we're going to take in the entire fight, hopefully. Leftovers. We are going to... Flint throw it again. Max Potion thought so. Is our confusion over? Thank you. So because they used a Max Potion, the turn ends. Yes, okay. I'm going to then use... A reversal. 
So it must... Yeah, we did it at speed. Okay, great. A level 54 for Typhlosion. Excellent. Okay, we got hit once that entire fight. That is amazing. What a way to break the ice. By outlasting and overcoming my icy onslaught, you've proven that you and your Pokémon can withstand anything. Go on to the next room, your challenge awaits. And she warps out. Okay. Next room. I'm pretty sure this guy is a flying type boy. So I'm gonna switch Luxray into first. I can't remember what this guy had. I'm gonna just use a Super Potion or two on Typhlosion. One's good. And then we will do this. How you doing, trainer? Or should I say, challenger? There we go, that has a better sound to it. Absora, the flying Pokemon trainer of the Rion League. Made it past the first gate, but it's only gonna get more difficult from here on out, bucko. Trying to get blown away by my sheer power. Okay, yeah, that was right. That is an epic spread if I've ever seen one. Damn, son. So speaking of trainer sprites, I uploaded the last set of four today of Pokemon Yellow Sprite Recolors onto my Twitter and DeviantArt. Um, I'm recording this on Tuesday, so... Okay, so this Gyarados, four times effective spark. Stab attack, super effective, one shot. Yep, excellent. So our attack is cut because of Intimidate, but we should be fine. Next Pokemon, Gliscor. This annoying thing, Fralliator. This thing is part ground, or part rock, or part something, I don't know. Ice would be the best move here, but... I'm just gonna go for a Surf. Earthquake. Okay, yeah, I should have gone to Articuno. Earthquake hits neutral, does less than 70 damage. We hit this thing super effective with Surf. It's a one-shot. Excellent. Brilliant. Ate that Earthquake, so that was great. About to use a Drift Blim, we will switch back into Luxray. That sprite is adorable. <laughs> Wave your arms. Okay, I'm gonna use another spark. This Luxray is fast aft, so... Almost a one-shot. We get the Paralyze. Can we paralyze it fully so it can't hit us? Curse. Thanks. Lol. <laughs> No point in doing that, because if we... S well, actually, does that affect us for every battle now? Or is it just until the end of this battle? I don't know. Uh, we will switch into Articuno. Altaria is a very dangerous Pokémon. It's a dragon flying. Probably has Hyper Beam or something insane, so we're just gonna try and... as D-Dance, okay. That is terrifying. Ice Beam, can you please just one-shot it? Yes, excellent. That is brilliant. Okay. Last Pokemon is a Pidgeot. We will... We still have Ancient Power on Tyrantar. We could use that. I'm just trying to spread around the... Uh, moves so I don't use up any one move on a Pokemon, because then I won't be able to use it later. Sandstorm Rages. Hits them. Ancient Power. Agility already outspeed sets. So doesn't do anything for them. Ancient Power should... Can it one shot, please? No. Nearly. Sandstorm will nearly kill it. And we'll just crunch. Brave Bird will hurt, but it won't do a lot. Okay, never mind. Doesn't even hurt. Uh, 30 damage. Yeah, no. That's brilliant. Critical Crunch, even though it didn't matter. 2000 XP. And that's our second Elite Four trainer down. I'm breathless. Seriously, not many trainers can overpower me, but I'm glad you got a good vibe. If you defeated me, that means you and your Pokémon have the inner strength and power to overcome the challenges of the League. Congratulations, Challenger. Move on to your next opponent. What is this little branch off to the right? Nothing. Okay. Next trainer. Before we go through this door, I'm just gonna go apply items for alligator 
super potions. The super potion on Tyranitar. He's... Okay, that's good enough. Okay, is this a rock type boy? Fighting type? I don't know. I... I'll stick for alligator in front. Well, actually, no matter if it's fighting or rock, um, Metagross can kill it because he has. Um, yeah, Metagross. Unless it's a ground type, he brings it up first. I don't know. Okay, we'll see. I'm expecting rock or ground, so this could go either way at this point. What do I want to do? Yeah, I'll just, we'll just try this. The ground we walk has been shared by many who have come before us. There were challengers and champions before you and I, and once we're gone, they will continue to be born. Our existence appears to be insignificant in comparison to the seemingly timeless floor beneath our feet. To be solid like the ground is to be eternal. To be solid is to change the nature of our reef. Oh, this is getting too complicated even for me. Efe ephemeral existence. And to do that, temporary beings like you and I must cherish the beauty of the present. Ground yourself in this moment. Do not falter. I like this guy's vibe. Daichi. He's cool. Got some good words of wisdom there. Sent out a Rhydon. Okay, it is part rock. We are fine. Because that means that um, our amazing flash cannon will hit it super effective. And one, it's the 1 HP squad. Too weak to make a substitute. We'll use Pursuit and take out that last HP. Oh! Okay. Doge is about to use a Steelix, so we will switch into Typhlosion and use Flamethrower. This is getting tense. Covered with leftovers. Flamethrower. I don't know if this thing is pure steel or what it is, but this is super effective. Will it one shot? Sturdy, so that is true 1 HP squad. Super effective, use Sandstorm. Hinjeku, Hinjeku! <laughs> oh man. Our leftovers basically negate that smoke. Now we'll use a reversal. Takes out that last HP. Down goes the Steelix, third Pokemon is a Dawn fan. We will switch into for alligator for this one. This thing is pure ground. Which means that water is a best bet for killing it. Or knocking it out, I suppose. Be more accurate. We'll use a surf. We outspeed it, so we don't have the use for Aqua Jet. And is it a one shot? Sturdy! One HP squad rollout. That's fine. We can take that the first time. We won't let it stack, though, because we'll use an Aqua Jet to finish this off now. Excellent! I'm getting really good RNG. Or else I'm just an appropriate level that I can kill everything. Flygon, we will switch into our Articuno. This thing is a Dragon Flying. Is it Dragonfly or Dragon Rock? I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it's four times weak to ice. Yeah, it must be. Okay, Dragon Claw. That is a very dangerous move. If this doesn't one-shot, I'd be extremely surprised. Yeah, okay, we're good. And he's have one more Pokemon, question mark? Yes. He's a Rhyperior. We will switch into our... Uh, Metagross. That sprite is a bit derpy, if I must say so. It looks a bit... a bit skinny! <laughs> Needs a bit more thickness there, in the middle. Uh, flash Cannon. Super effective. Level 60 Rhyperior. This is terrifying. Earthquake. Oh boy, that's painful. That is very painful. That's a one-shot. Okay, we've lost one Pokémon. We can bring that back with a max revive. Uh, I will go into Feraligator and use a super-powered Surf. If it had Sturdy, we've broken it, so... Yep, yeah, okay. That's been cleared up. 
Level 55 for alligator. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's two more trainers left. To be grounded is to be balanced, and to be balanced is to understand the difference between the reckless nature of sheer power and the discipline needed to resist all opposition. You have one more opponent before you can contest the title of champion. Best wishes to you. Okay. We got our Lego blocks here. <laughs> okay, pack. Let me go find Max Revive. Metagross, back up to full. I need some Max Potion. An Articuno. And we'll use a Super Potion. Find our super potions. There we go. Okay, so this guy has a really varied team. I remember that. He's like the rival from Pokemon Brown, which was the um, pre game to this one. And I should probably shouldn't have saved the game there, but we'll ignore that. Um, yeah, okay. Whoa there, a challenger? I didn't see that coming. I did not expect that. Usually people either get beaten by Sora or put to sleep by Daichi's meditation lesson. That's what being a trainer is all about. Expect the unexpected and adapting to be based off of any given situation. A trainer must be able to know when to push for a victory or pull back to spare your Pokémon from injury. When I was a challenger for the Rion Champion title, I couldn't adapt to my, po my opponent's varied and unique Pokémon. My ability to change up my strategy is ultimately what cost me the title. Let's see if you let's see if you have what it takes. We'll make this easy. Mura. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he's the rival, or yeah, he's the rival from Pokemon Brown, which is the uh, prequel, not prequel, just the game that came before this. He's got six Pokemon. Firo versus Metagross is not a good matchup at all. Uh, we can use a Body Slam, I suppose. He's going for Sky Attack. Oh, we paralyzed him. Brilliant. Okay. Might actually be able to take him out this turn. Uh, let's go for a Psychic, then. It's Stab, so it might do more than half. Oh, come on. Special Defense Fill. You did use Sky Attack. Steal or resist it. Yeah, it's a, usually a very, very powerful move, but... Um, with my steel typing, it does basically nothing. Okay, so that worked, actually. Level 53 Metagross. Probably only because he paralyzed him, but... But he's a Tyranitar. We will not switch out. We'll stay in and use another Flash Cannon. I say another in reference to the previous match, so... Flash Cannon. This could one-shot, if we're lucky. Okay, does absolutely nothing. Never mind. Crunch is super effective. 1 HP squad. 1 HP squad! <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna go for another flash can just as a sack off move. Use another crunch. That's fine. We'll come in with. Um, we'll come in with for alligator use an aqua jet. Make sure this ends here and now. And we're gonna just go for Surf, because we will definitely outspeed this Pinecone T-Rex. Okay. Cool, two Pokémon down out of six. One of ours is lost, but it's the most random of ours, so it should be fine. Ludicolo. Uh, grass, water, we'll go for Luxray. This thing... I have a feeling, I don't know why, but for some reason I think this thing has Earthquake, so this could be a very bad move for me. Probably it's Hydro Pump and Spring Buds. I have no idea. Let's use a Spark, which should be super effective, or Neutral, I don't know which. Neutral. Paralysis, brilliant, thank you, amazing RNG today. Fully paralyzed, we're gonna one-shot the thing. But that's what I'm talking about! Give me more of that! <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, that was amazing. Three Pokémon at Weezing. We will. We lost our Psychic Pokémon. Uh, we have Typhlosion. A uh, Flamethrower on Gas is super effective. We could have used Ice as well. 
This thing's level 60. It should be super effective. This thing explodes, it will kill us, because it's got six levels on us. The odds of that happening are very low, because we one-shot it! Yeah! Awesome. Awesome sauce. Two Pokemon left. Houndoom. We will switch into Feraligator and use Surf. I don't think, even when I played this game the first time, I did not have this much success with the Elite Four. Sunny Day. Okay, so that means he can uh, raise the power of his fire moves, or if he has Solar Beam, Solar Beam goes off one turn, which means we could be annihilated on the next turn. Sunlight is strong. Uh, surf. He's gonna use Flamethrower, which will have boosted power from the Sunny Day, but should still not do much to us because of our water. Never mind, that was a crit. Okay. We should be able to Surf him out of existence, though, because we've already done over half of his HP. Yep. Excellent. Okay. Last Pokémon is a Leafeon. We will switch into... Uh... Yeah, we'll do... Typhlosion, Articator, Typhlosion. Because we need more ice moves for the champion. I mean, given our, given who our dad is, and I'm saying I, we need ice moves for the champion, guess who the champion is. Yeah, should be pretty obvious by now. Flamethrower. And this should probably, I'm guessing a three shot. One shot, it wasn't even a crit. That, that blows my mind. Okay, wow. Holy crap. Okay, we're in an amazing place right now. I'm simply amazed. Me too. You battle just like that trainer. Well, I guess that means you have what it takes to be the champion of Rijan. Before you enter that room, take a moment to reflect on your journey and your growth. You are no longer the person you were when you started your adventure. The trials of the Elite Four proved that you have all the qualities of a champion. You are disciplined, powerful, but balanced, and you can adapt to any situation. Indeed, and I have also changed as a YouTuber since I started the series. <laughs> I've got a new intro, I've got new recording software, I've got new overlays on Twitch and things. I've leveled up. It's been an honor. Okay. Yeah, wrong Pokemon. I just want to get everyone up to full HP. Where is our max revive? And I've got, um, Soda Pop. And then do we have Burkers? 80. Okay, I think we're good. And here we are. Last trainer. My dad. <laughs> My father. Mr. Lance. I am going to save the game here. And then let's do this. In fact, before we do this, I don't know if he le leads what he leads off with. So I'm going to switch Luxor into the front because I can't remember if he leads off with Gyarados or Charizard or whatever he does. Uh, so I'll stick Luxor in front and then we'll see what happens. My child! How I have missed you. When I heard about the cave -in, I rushed to clear all the underground pathways to search for you. I eventually stumbled upon Professor Ilk, who had been studying those strange seismic activities within the very same caves. He described to be a young trainer who'd been trapped on Nyalio's side of the mountains, and that befriended a tiny larvitar and started up an adventure in the region. When I discovered it was you, my heart swelled with pride. I trusted that you alone would survive and overcome whatever obstacles lay before you. I had to trust that you alone would make wise decisions without needing my guidance. Now that you've come to challenge me for my title, I will do all I can to make sure that you earn this honor. And that sprite is gold. That sprite is amazing. Holy crap, that's beautiful. I'm just gonna take a moment to admire that and listen to my favorite battle music in the first two generations of Pokemon. A few moments later... Okay, and now I'm done admiring, so... Sends out Salamence. Holy crap. Okay, that's a start. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> I don't have I don't have the right Pokemon I 
This is going to go terrible. Well, this will be a first attempt, then. We'll paralyze it, though. Okay, that's nice. Uh, we'll spark it again. Yeah, this is when you want to have a fairy type Pokemon as well. And Dragon Claw again, Luxury's down. We've got revives, though. Okay, we'll go into Articuno. Now that he's paralyzed, we should be able to outspeed him. Ice Beam. Super effective, four times effective. Down goes the Salamence. Excellent. One of six. Or was it one of five? How many Pokemon did he have? He had six Pokemon. Oh my god. About to use a Charizard. Okay, we'll switch into Tyranitar and use our four times effective ancient power on this thing. Derpy boy. Level 64. Hey, it's my level. <laughs> Okay, Ancient Power, Dragon Claw, neutral, does basically nothing. Ancient Power is just four times effective, it should one-shot. Yep, okay, two out of six. Level 54 for Tyranitar. No rainbow, so I don't have an incentive to stay in Gyarados. We lost our electric type Pokemon. Re... But do we have anything to switch into now for that? Not really. This is a problem. This is a big problem. Okay. Let's see what we can do here if we hit it with a slash. How much damage that does. Basically nothing. Outrage. Okay. That's fun. Uh, instead, we're gonna revive gonna revive our boy. We'll use a revive. We lost all of our max revives, that's fine. Outrage will kill us this turn, but that's fine, because we already killed this Charizard, so don't need a water type at this point. We'll go into Luxray. Hit it with a Surf. If Outrage lands, uh, we die, and then we lose. Outrage lands. Okay, never mind. I have no idea how I'm gonna kill this thing. Uh, we can try Metagross. Metagross should be able to tank basically anything it can do to us. Use a Bondi Slam. Use another Outrage. Oh my god. In the confusion. That's a crit. Jeez, okay. Would you like um or fam? <laughs> oh, the confusion though. That was not a crit. Okay, that's fine. Psychic will kill this thing. That'll be four. Is that three? I don't know. That's three. Which is a guard chomp. Guard chomp is part ground. This is Cynthia's nightmare Pokemon. <sighs> Come to Tyranitar. It has Earthquake, we're dead, but I expect it does. Use a dig. Earthquake. Okay, never mind. That was pointless. That's super effective, that'll one shot us for sure. Yep. Okay, we have no means of killing the rest of this Pokemon at this point, we might as well see what they are, if we can kill this Garchomp. I doubt we'll be able to, though. So if he uses Earthquake and we live it, we'll hit him with Reverse on him, but do a lot of damage. For some reason I don't think we'll live. No, we don't. Okay, Articuno. Get in here. Okay. Okay, so the strategy is not to lose for Alligator, because for Alligator could take this. He has Outrage, too. Lovely. And that's a one-shot. Okay. And we'll be right back.
and so we return. After much dedicated effort that has permanently messed up the timer on this save file, <laughs> um, we have returned. And this time we will, for, to put it very bluntly, we will kick Lance's ass this episode. And I'm deciding I will show the whole thing, the whole challenge of the Elite Four. Here we are, back here with the Yuki. And uh, if you've checked my Twitter, you know what I found in Seneca Caverns while we were grinding. I probably have included it in the montage a few moments ago. <laughs> but that was first random shiny in a Pokemon game ever that I've been able to catch. So, wahoo. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Yuki. Ice Master. Yeah, grinding was a pain, because there are very few places in this game that have high-level Pokémon before the League, so... We were stuck in Seneca Caverns for a very long time, grinding on level 35 Pokémon. Flamethrower. I, I went through my TMs, and I did some move changing and stuff, and some people learned things from leveling up that will... allow us to defeat this League a lot... lot more effectively. Like... Typhlosion had smokescreen, and I did use that in the battle against Lance, but I decided to replace it with a will o -Wisp because that is one of the best stat-inducing moves in the game. Uh, I didn't even see what she was going to go out to. We won't worry about it. They're all ice-types, so it should not matter. Okay. Down goes the Glalie. Unnecessary crit, but I will take it. Okay, next is a Weavile. We will, uh... We have Reversal, or we could go into Luxray. Luxray, in Seneca Caverns, Luxray was the absolute nightmare sweet machine. It was my Luxray. Uh, double kicking it was one sh Double kick was one-shotting the rock types, and Spark was one-shotting everything else, so, yeah. Somehow, this Weavile still outspeeds us, even though we have 16 levels on it, which is insane. And you'd get situations like that, where you'd have something would have Sturdy, you'd kick it once, and it would go all the way down to 1 HP, hit Sturdy, survive because of Sturdy, and then get hit with the second double kick, so... Which looked hilarious every time it happened. We'll switch back into Typhlosion and use another Flamethrower. Yeah, Luxray's moveset is the same. Typhlosion has Will-O-Wisp, and I'll make note of some of the other changes as we're going here. Um, this should definitely one-shot. 15 levels. Like, I want to end the series this episode. I'm not do putting up with this anymore. Glaceon will not switch out, and this was a one-shot at level 55, so this should not be a problem. And our leftovers were amazing and grinding as well. Typhlosion would be one of those Pokémon that would only go down because it would struggle itself to death. Typhlosion and Metagross were like that, so... And I suppose Tyrantar as well, but... Yeah, okay. First trainer defeated without any problems at all. Next up... I don't even need to heal after that. Next. Sora, we will switch our Luxray into fr the front. How you doing, trainer? Or should I say, challenger? There we go. Sora, made it past the first gate. It's only gonna get more difficult. Bucko, trying to get blown away by my sheer power. From the power. <laughs> Yeah, trying to get blown away by my power, perhaps. Or should I say, zapped by my power. Okay, this'll be a fun one-shot to get. Uh, four times effective. Spark with 16 levels. Hmm. <laughs> okay. 
Down goes the Gyarados. And up next is a Gliscor. And we will go into... for Alligator for that. Okay. And for Alligator, you can see we lost Aqua Jet, because eventually Aqua Jet just isn't helpful anymore. It's got 30 power, so... And we sort of got Outrage, and Outrage is for Lance. It's a dragon move, and it is was insane to use in grinding. So that was what killed us, in fact, was Metagross... Not Metagross. Um, Lance's Garchomp's Outrage. So, give him a taste of his own medicine. About to use a Drift Blim, we will switch back into Luxray. His wavy arms. Cutie. Okay. And one more spark. Another one shot. Hurt by the aftermath. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, Altaria, we will... Altaria is part dragon, so we'll use Articuno for that. We should be able to outspeed this thing as well. Uh, it's Ice Beam. So you see I lost air, I got rid of Aerial Ace and also got Sky Attack on Articuno. So, not that we'll need it, but for the style points it's nice to have. Pidgeot, we will switch um, back into Luxray. We don't have... Articuno was a hard Pokemon to grind with, and I did end up using my rare candy supply mostly on it, so... Um, mainly because a lot of Articuno's moves don't have a lot of power points on them. Articuno couldn't really stand up much to the rock types in Seneca Caverns until it was over level 60, so... I'm breathless. Seriously, many not many trainers can overpower me, but I'm glad you got a good vibe. If you defeated me, then you and your Pokémon have the inner strength and power to overcome the challenges of the League. Congratulations, Challenger. Move on to your next opponent. Yes, sir. Now, uh, Mr. Daichi. And his rock types. I'll switch Metagross into the front. And I've read this meditative speech before. I'm just gonna get past it. Okay, to do this again, except with more one-shots. Cherish the beauty of the present. Ground yourself in this moment. Do not falter. I like the Elite Four in this game. It's nice and varied, with a lot of different... Like, has there ever been a Flying-type Elite Four member? Yeah, I know we had a Flying-type Gym in Gen 2, which was a very poor excuse for a Flying-type Gym, but that's me. It's the first Gym in the game, so... And you see, ultimate style points! <laughs> uh, yeah, Flash Cannon. Yeah, 50% accuracy, but the confusion is nice. With our defensive qualities, we can throw out a couple of them against Lance if we want to. Uh, I go into Typhlosion. Use another flamethrower on this thing. We have 14 levels on it, so it should not be much of a problem. So for the most part, we're going to be over-leveling things until we reach Lance, and that that once we reach Lance, then we'll be on level with some of his Pokémon. I don't know if his Ace is level 70 or what it is. Sandstorm is fine. We'll take a few damage from that. Our leftovers are able to fix that though, so and because one HP cut can be used there. Yeah, but by this point by the time we were like mid sixties with Tech we were able to one shot the gold bats in that KO with cut, so. Okay, three Pokemon left. Dawn fan, we will switch into our Fraligator. There's a surf here. We should be able to outspeed this thing. Definitely. There hasn't been- we haven't taken much damage, so I don't even know if I need to heal before the final battle. Rollout is fine. Take one. 
I don't want to get hit by another. I'm pretty sure I said exactly that when I fought this guy the last time. Slash lost his last HP and we're down. He's got two Pokemon left. Or one Pokemon, two. Okay. Flygon, we will switch into Articuno and use Ice Beam. I don't know if Articuno will be able to outspeed Lance's Pokemon. I hope so. Since part ground. Nice beam. Super effective. And it's one shot. Okay, great. And one Pokemon left is a Rhyperior. We will switch back into Feraligator for that. And hit it with a Surf, and that should be us on to the second last battle. Yeah, there's no point in having Aqua Jet at this point, because we are either we outspeed it or we don't, and if we don't outspeed it, it's not even worth using, so. It took me a very long time to get over that. So. To be grounded is to be balanced, and to be balanced is to understand the difference between the reckless nature of sheer power and the discipline needed to resist all opposition. Okay. Second last battle. Here we go. I'm gonna just check. Uh, I'm gonna just drop a couple potions on people. Just drop a super potion on Fralgator. And one on Luxray. There we go. Can't remember what his first Pokemon was. Hmm. Trying to remember. Okay, we should be fine, though. Whoa, the challenger? I didn't see that coming. Usually people either get beaten by Sora or put to sleep by Daichi's meditation lesson. That's what being a trainer is all about. Expecting the unexpected and adapting to... So that sentence is written incorrectly. Okay, that's why we had so much trouble with it last time. Adapting to any given situation. A trainer must be able to know when to push for victory or pull back to spare your Pokemon from injury. When I was a challenger for the Rijon Champion title, I couldn't adapt to my opponent's varied and unique Pokemon. My inability to change up my strategy is ultimately what cost me the title. Let's see if you have what it takes. It won't make this easy. Mr. Mura. That hair, though, is really nice. Okay, his first Pokemon is a Fero. Yeah, and I still have Metagross in front. I never- I did not learn from last time. Okay, well let's, uh, hit it with a Body Slam. Which is a... Almost a one-shot. He's going for Sky Attack. He won't get it off, though. Guess we'll go for another Body Slam, and that will be him. Down goes the Furo. 2013 XP. A very good year. Uh, I didn't even see what he was gonna go out to. That's annoying. Uh, we'll go into Luxray, because Luxray can kill everything but that. Yeah, I can't read today. Got distracted in the moment there. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to switch in then. Because I do not want to lose... Actually, no, we can hit it four times effect with the double kick. There we go. <laughs> See, I told you, Luxray can kill basically anything, so... That felt very good. Ludicolo, we're good here. Okay. I'll hit this thing with a spark and call it. I'm calling a one-shot here, if not in the yellow. Okay, in the red. Hydro Pump won't kill us, but it will take us close, probably. Not even. Lol, it did less than half of what we had. That did take us past the halfway point. Oh, come on, one HP squad! Uh, Night Slash. Okay. Almost level 71. Houndoom, we will switch into Feraligator for that. Probably Titar would have been better. Use a Surf. Okay. 
and surf. Okay, this guy, we've got 11 levels on him, so this should one-shot. Yep, excellent. I didn't make a comment about that last time, but yeah, Houndoom's fainting sound sounds like for alligator, which is weird. Okay, I go to Typhlosion. Could have gone to Articuno and used Sky Attack, but... I don't think it's a problem. Gonna be using up almost all of our flamethrowers in this battle. Or, by the time we reach Lance, at least. Okay. And what's his last Pokemon is a Weezing. And we'll go into Metagross for that. Get a bit of Psychic and call it a day. Psychic. I seem to recall Metagross might have fainted the last time I did this battle, I can't remember. My short term memory is very. not great. <laughs> I'm simply amazed. You battled just like that trainer. Well, I guess that means I have what it takes. You have what it takes to be the champion of Rijan. Before you enter that room, take a moment to reflect on your journey and your growth. You are no longer the person that you were when you started your adventure. The trials of the Elite Four prove that you have all the qualities of a champion. You are disciplined, you are powerful, you are balanced, and you can adapt to any situation. Qualities that I wish I had all of in real life. Okay, let's use some potions. One of those there. Use one of those there. Because that really does matter. Do we have just like regular potions anywhere? Um, just looking for soda pop. Want everyone on full. We still have a max revive or two. Okay, here we go. Time for Lance again. Let's reorder our party. So we have a dragon killer in the front. Okay, let's do this. Again. My child, how I have missed you. When I heard about the cave I rushed to clear all the underground pathways to search for you. I st eventually stumbled upon Professor Ilk, who had been studying the strange seismic activities within the very same caves. He described to me a young trainer who had been trapped on Nalio's side of the mountains, had befriended a tiny lavatar, and started up an adventure in the region. When I discovered it was you, my heart swelled with pride. I trusted that you alone would survive and overcome whatever obstacles lay before you. I had to trust that you alone would make the wise decisions without needing my guidance. Now that you've come to challenge me for my title, I will do all I can to make sure you earn this honor. Last battle of the game. Sends out the Salamence. We'll go straight for the Outrage. We have nine levels on him. A gap that will get very small and then non existent. Can we one shot him? Almost. Dragon Claw. Neutral. You see, because we're not Dragon, our attacks aren't Stab, but they are super effective. Okay, Gyarados, we will switch into Luxray. I have a lot of faith in this battle. For Alligator, won't pick up Confusion from Outrage because of that. Uh, we'll go for a Spark, which should one-shot. We have nine levels on it. Again. Okay, that's two down out of six. Lance. Luxray is now 71. <laughs> oh my god, that power though. But he's a guard chomp, here we go. For alligator, do your stuff. Okay, this is tense. Outrage. Super effective, come on, just finish him off, finish him off. Oh, it's so close, please. Sword stance. Yes! Guard chomp wall is down. 
Guard shop wall is down. I'm so glad I taught Crowdgetter Outrage. I don't know if he would have beaten Lance otherwise. <laughs> oh man, Crowdgetter level 71 as well. Altaria's coming in. We are gonna go into Articuno and Ice Beam this. Remember, when I played the game the first time, Altaria was my wall that I could not get past. That was because I did not outspeed it, unless it was paralyzed. Which is, I was, the first time I played this game I had an Ampharos instead of Luxray, so I had Static on it. And Ampharos' Static um, paralyzed Altaria, and that allowed me to get an Ice Beam in without dying. It was a very, very close battle, because I wasn't over-leveled, or on-level even. Charizard, Tyranitar... And we'll hit this thing with one of our new moves, which is a four times effective Rock Slide. There we go. Dragon Claw, neutral, does basically nothing. That powerful animation. Down goes the Charizard, last Pokemon. And we all know Lance, we all know what it's gonna be. Okay, apparently not. I thought it was gonna be Dragonite, but apparently Lance has discarded his three Dragonites from Gen 2 by this point. <laughs> Flygon, we will... Flygon is Dragon Ground, so... Which means it has no Flying type, which means it's weak to Ground types, so I can Earthquake it. By logic. I don't know if it has Levitate or something. Outrage will hit us neutral. It doesn't do a lot. Okay, he does have Levitate then. Fair enough. Should've gone for the D-Dance first. I've learned D-Dance as well. We have speed boost, but we don't know if we outspeed or not. Crunch is stab. And it's almost a one-shot. Hit yourself. Okay, if the Champion Lance battle had ended with Flygon hitting itself, that would have been the greatest thing in Pokemon history. <laughs> okay, well, time to do this. Do this with the one Pokemon that we originally brought to this battle. Ice Beam. Oh, hit yourself. Do hit yourself. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, that's gold. <laughs> that is pure gold. <laughs> Oh man, defeated the champion of the game with confusion. <laughs> Amazing. There is no one I'd rather relinquish my title to than you. Your Pokemon battle in a way where they anticipate all commands you make while trusting your ability to read the battlefield. Your potential is limitless and will continue to grow as you and your Pokemon grow old together. Do you think you've defeated your old man at such a young age? Let's head to the Hall of Fame room right away. There's something else you'd like to do first? Well, okay. Anything for you. Yes! Yes! <gasps> Hi, what an adventure. I believe that you're back safe and sound and becoming the Rijon Champion. You're just like your father. Yes. Mallet learned a lot on that adventure. I'd forgotten all about my Nalio ancestry. I've just been so busy. What will I need to do? But I do what I need to do to keep Nalio safe. The Guardians are still experiencing an unfamiliar Nalio. I don't want them to harm anyone. I know some people in Rijan who may be able to help us. It's not That's very noble of you. Maybe you've changed after all. Let's meet up in Rijan when you get the chance. I'll be at the power plant. This pass will let you take the tunnel to Rijon. So that I'm not going to do, because I'm done with this series. Maybe eventually I'll do it. I'll probably just do it on my own time. And blog about it or something. Mallet, just let me know when you want to visit the Hall of Fame room. But I can tell that you're not in any rush. No worries. We have all the time in the world. And then they poof off there. Lol. All the trainers who have earned the honor to be Rizan's champion have been entered in this computer. Now you, my child, will immortalize yourself in the Pokemon who have fought by your side in the history of Rizan's Pokemon League.
finally. We're done. Number 15 for Alligator. Articuno, number 240. Level 65. Number 3, Tyranitar, level 65. Number 18, Luxray, level 71. Number 211, Metagross, at level 70. Number 12, Typhlosion, at level 70. And me, Mallard, who did not play for 150 hours, who played somewhere around fairly late 24. And we're done. I'll let the credits roll. Lots of people did a lot of work, mostly anonymous. And that's... that is basically it. But we'd rather use these credits to thank some people. Thanks to Cool Boy Man for having made the... it's gonna scroll very slowly, so I will just let it run and I will talk about... Um, just talk about what the future of the channel is probably going to be. So after this, and you you can just read this while I talk, because I'm not. I'll, I've already read it before, and almost finished it. Yes, because the game got cease and desisted by Game Freak. Yes, you can still develop on it. I know play the game, and thanks to whom can still develop on it. Okay, true that I am gonna read it, never mind then. Thanks to Game Freak and their associates, is this a... Creating this amazing franchise that started it? I know it's just gonna say all, period. All, yep. Yeah. Please buy their great games. Yes, please do. They make a lot of great stuff. Finally, thank you for playing this game. Thank you for everyone who has stuck around to watch it after 32 episodes. Rainbow Dibs 2017. And so yes, with that, I am ending the Pokemon Prism series. Although there is a second region, I'm not doing that. Dear God, no. <laughs> and so... I'm probably gonna take a week or two off to test a bunch of stuff. A week or two off from YouTube videos, I'm still gonna be streaming on Saturdays. Um, Otherwise, I'm going to, um, then I'll start on my next series, which I'll probably do, every other series that comes after this is going to be under 10 episodes, preferably somewhere between 4 and 6 episodes, just to keep things fresh, uh, and episodes will probably be more heavily edited so I can squeeze more content into them, and might be shorter, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, some things I'm considering playing are, if I can get my NES Classic hooked up, I might play some NES games off of that. I've got my Super Nintendo. That stuff is also possible for streams as well. I've got the Castlevania Anniversary Collection to work through. I've got Mega Man games. I've got lots of fun stuff on Steam, including Toho Luna Nights, which is one that I'm definitely considering playing either on stream or for YouTube in the near future. So just keep... Keep an eye out for future videos from me in the next few weeks. See you all around, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!